हेलो वीवर्स आई एम डॉक्टर शैलेश कुमार करके टुडे विल सी व्हाट फूड नॉट टू ईट इफ यू आर सफरिंग विद द एनलार्ज प्रोस्टेट और द फूड यू शुड अवॉइड इफ यू आर सफरिंग विद द बी पी एच दैट इज बी नाइन एनलार्जमेंट ऑफ प्रोस्टेट सो इन अवर लिस्ट द फर्स्ट फूड यू शुड अवॉइड इज द डेरी डेरी एंड डेरी प्रोडक्ट्स लाइक मिल्क चीज बटर कर्ड यू शुड अवॉइड why because they contain saturated fats and saturated fats increases the inflammation in the prostate so if you are already having an enlarged prostate there will be more in, in, enlargement of the prostate and your symptoms can worsen so in our list the next food you should avoid is the red meat and the processed meat why because they contain arachidonic acid which causes inflammation in the prostate and the prostate will enlarge it has enlargement on the prostate by 3 times more compared to any other food so red meat and processed meat you should avoid strictly especially if you are eating the red meat by cooking or uh, or grilling and fried at high temperature there is more production of the hca that is heterocyclic amines which are known as carcinogenics and that's the reason grilled food and fried food you should avoid because they are more carcinogenic not only the prostate cancer the other cancer also uh, risk of other cancers like stomach cancers colon cancers are also high in in this high grilled food so red meat specially grilled meat should be avoided in our list the next food you should avoid is non organic white meat like industrially processed chicken fish they are harmful because they cause inflammation in the prostate so you might be wondering whether if you are telling to avoid the meat red meat and telling to uh, telling to avoid the chicken and fish then what to eat when in this non veg so you can eat the organic white meat like organic skinless chicken fresh fish and if you are looking for a more pulses and protein deficiency then in the vegetables you can look for the legumes whole grain beans and nuts so these will these will compensate for the red meat protein which you are losing so these were uh, these organic white meat and the vegetable proteins can help you to compensate for the loss of the proteins in a, in our list the other food that you should avoid is the egg especially the egg yolk because egg yolk contain arachidonic acid which again causes the inflammation in the prostate and will will which will worsen the prostatic symptoms in our list the other food next food is the sugary food and artificial sweeteners artificial sweeteners or sugary food when you take your sugar levels of the blood goes very high and once the blood sugar levels goes high there will be inflammation in the prostate that's the reason the diabetic patients they are having more three times more risk of developing bph and bph related symptoms so high level of sugars and artificial sweeteners increases the blood sugar levels and causes the prostatic inflammation also patients who are obese they are also de- more risk to develop the enlargement of prostate and worsen if you are already suffering with the enlarged prostate your weight gain can worsen your prostatic symptoms so you should be very careful if you are eating more of sugars next food in our list is the salty food so those patients who are eating more love to eat more salt especially the table salt because they contain more of sodium more of sodium means your kidneys will form more u- urine and if you are already having prostatic symptoms or suffering with the prostate more urine formation means you know that you are bound to develop the urine symptoms increase frequency of urination frequency to and a frequency of urinate to pass the urine will increase so you can experience the bad and worsen symptoms of the bph so you should reduce your salt intake next food in our list is the spicy food when you take more spicy food the acidity or the fo- of your stomach will increase the inflammation in your body will increase and once the inflammation in prostate increases you start to develop pain in the pelvic region especially in the bladder in the rectum and those patients who are suffering with the piles they might have experienced this 
that if you eat more spicy food and non veg at the time of defecation there will be severe burning around the anus similarly if you are having a bps symptoms then your urination will also ha be having burning pain so you should avoid the spicy food also the other food in our list is the caffeine drinks caffeine related so caffeine like coffee tea soda or any other carbonated drinks like soft drinks like pepsi coke this you should avoid because they are having diuretic properties so diuretic properties means the more urine formation and if you are having symptoms of the prostatic enlargement symptoms then the sim similar symptoms can worsen and you can have a nightmare so you should avoid all the caffeine related products the next food in our list is the alcohol so if you are a meat lover alcohol lover then you should and if you are suffering with the prostate then you should stop drinking alcohol because similar to caffeine it is having a diuretic properties along with that it is having an inflammatory property also so the more urine formation and the more inflammation in the prostate this means it will be double effect and more worsening of your prostatic symptoms so you should avoid all types of drink whether it's beer or the hard drinks the other food in our list is the processed and stored food some because processed and for stored food they are stored with a chemical preservatives and there will be additives so that the food can be stored for longer duration which can harm your body and cause an inflammation in the prostate so you should definitely avoid all the foods given but definitely before making any change in your diet it is always good to consult you your primary physician or to your specialist because you are making changes in the in your diet and these prostatic patients most of them are suffering with multiple other risk factors like diabetes hypertension thyroid and some other heart related problems and there are medications as well multiple so when you are making such changes in the body it's always better to consult your uh, doctor these are the general main foods which can worsen in a, no, in a simple normal bph patient so definitely you should try this but under the supervision of your doctor if you like this video please like subscribe and share with the people who may be get benefited from this if you have any comments please put them in the comment box i'll be happy to read them and try to answer them in our next video thank you